Hello, and welcome to the serialization series brought to you by C Sharp Learners. In this video, we'll be covering binary serialization in .NET, so let's get started. There are basically four ways to implement serialization in .NET. We covered these briefly in the previous video, but just to reiterate, we'll go over them again. The first is binary serialization. The second is SOAP serialization. And the third is XML serialization. Of course, we can do our own custom serialization, but generally it's just a bit more work. A major advantage of using binary serialization is that the object can be deserialized from the same data that it serializes to. Binary serialization preserves the entire object state and enhanced performance of binary serialization provides great support for complex objects, read-only properties, and circular references. Circular references are a closed loop where the last object references the first. A disadvantage is that it's not as easily portable to another platform. The binary formatter is used for binary serialization and extends the iFormatter interface. Binary formatter is commonly associated with .NET remoting, and the binary formatter class does not work when data needs to be transmitted through a firewall. Apply the non-serialized attribute when a member should not be serialized. We mentioned this in the first video as well. Here we've got a class book that we want to serialize. First, we create a new file stream object by passing in a file name and the file mode create. Next, we'll create a binary formatter object and using the binary formatters serialize method, we'll serialize my book by passing in our file stream object and the class my book. Finally, we'll close the file stream object. To deserialize an object, we'll again create a file stream object, this time passing in file mode open and a file name. Next, we'll create a binary formatter, and by calling the binary formatter's deserialize method using the file stream object, we return the original's object. Finally, let's close the file stream object. Thank you for watching our binary serialization video. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our website at blog.csharplearners.com or send us an email at questions at blog.csharplearners.com. Thanks again.